Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Caveman Silver Stacker. I haven't made a video in quite some time, so decided now is the best time as ever. We had a uh, pretty large coin show come through uh, the area. This is the annual coin show, and uh, quite a quite a few vendors, a lot of vendors, and there's always always lots of good stuff out there. So a lot of this stuff is picked up at the coin show. I kind of slowed down December and November. Uh, so a lot of stuff was picked up there. Some of it was on the road, just traveling uh, for work and stuff. So uh, jumping right into it at the coin show. There's tons of vendors, but I always usually go back to my local guy. I picked up a few of these 25 pesos. This is a 1968 uh, Mexican Olympic commemorative coin. Y'all are all familiar with these. Um, I get a really good price on these Mostly anything Mexican he gives me a really good price. And I just I love to stack this stuff for weight. So Nothing special about it. Just wait um, I throw all the stuff into a Mexican stuff into a big sack and uh, It's just just for me building bullying weight. So I got that a couple of these as well. These are the, the uh, Hidalgo these are Cinco pesos or five pesos, 72% silver. This is a 1955 and 56. There's a larger diameter Hidalgo as well, but only got three of these. Got everything he had, and some more good stuff. Canadian dollars. This is a 1968, I'm sorry, 58 totem pole or death dollar as it's called sometimes. Features the beautiful long neck queen. I think there's a better picture of the queen on one of my other coins here but All this stuff, you know really good price on this. They're all the totem poles and This stuff is just for me. It's considered again. Just wait Beautiful looking coins um, Pick that up. That's a different vendor different guy I got one and two of these as well. This is the 1973 Venezuela commemorative for Simon Bolivar, their country's currency namesake. Ooh, turn it around. Republica de Venezuela, this Bolivar is 10 dollars, 30 grams of 90% silver. It's a nice looking coin. So I got that one and then one I already put into a, a little flip here. So we spin it around. The mintage was about 22 2 million. It commemorates the 100 years of Simon, Simon Bolivar. That was the actual silver weight. 90%. So pretty cool. Pretty cool coin that you don't see too often here in the state side. Got that. Um, some dos pesos, some gold, and a 2018 gold Libertad. Um, again, the dos pesos there are just 1945 restrikes. Good, cheap Mexican gold. You can get this stuff all day at coin shows for a uh, very, very reasonable price. Cheaper than that, Max, probably anybody, anything on eBay. So that's usually when I get this stuff. Uh, the guy that I got this Libertad from, a uh, Mexican coin broker, he's a direct sales from the bank, Banco de Mexico, I got one of these from him, he had a few of these. This is a shredded $1,000 bill, or billete, Mexican the bank note. The bank makes more money shredding them and selling them like this than the actual face value of the bill, billete, the bank note. So I picked one up. As a novelty, novelty, just, I don't know, something different. Something cheap, something crazy. Um, other stuff I got. Uh, here's some art bars. This is a Salute to American Inventors and poor old Eli Whitney. That's an that's a ugly looking dude right there. Damn. Uh, this was minted by the Justice Mint. The Justice Mint did not do justice for Eli Whitney. That is an ugly looking dude. 
Um, got that at the show as well. Here's another little art bar, old Ironside, one ounce bar. Very nice. I got a lot of art bars. No, uh, no mint maker on this one. It's just plain back. This as well. This is a little five gram Johnson Matthew. Um, again, fairly reasonable price for being a five gram. Just a little harder to come by. Don't see them out there too often. So it was nice to see this and pick that up. What else? All kinds of good stuff. Uh, from Greece, from the island of Greece, this is a 1963 30 drachma, I think is how you say it, commemorating the five kings, so I got a couple of these, I put them in flips, this one has a lot of, I think it's really coming through, a lot of beautiful purple gold toning on there, but, um, so you can see the five kings on that, 1863 to 1963, I got one, Two, and then they get into a little different shapes or you know, toning features, I guess. A couple of those. There's another one. One of them. Oh, I thought I had wrote, written all the specs. I guess not. Uh, I got those, and then I got this one the very next year, 1964. Another 30 drachma from Greece. This commemorates the wedding of... Oh man, is I don't remember the name of this. Isabella and um, I'm all wrong. I'm not gonna say it, but uh, it's a commemorative there from Greece. It is silver, and there's the KM. Uh, there's the reverse or obverse, whichever. Cool looking coin. So he was, had some world silver there. So uh, expanding my horizons a little bit. Uh the new American Innovators coin, this, there was somebody there selling these BU from Mint Roll, so I said, what the hell? This one is George Washington, so there's a P and a D, and I know at some point Dansko or somebody, probably Dansko, or somebody's going to make a book, so I'm debating whether to start it, keep it, but uh, might as well for the first year of issue. Uh... My first, very first, Carson City. Carson City Morgan, 1882. And if you didn't see the score, you will be surprised or probably not surprised. AG03. It is a very low ball coin, as they call it. But I thought for the price and for the who the hell would send in a coin so beat up. Novelty portion of it, and it does have some value. It's a Carson City, first Carson City, 1882, old school Rattler, 1885. Oh, great deal on this one. Uh, there you go. There's a price on that. Actually, he gave it to a little less because my son I told my son to buy it so we can get a better deal. These coin either dealers they love when kids show up and they're interested in coins. So that's for the coin show, some traveling I've done um, in my state, look at this guy. I was in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, check out those guys on every year out there. But check out this, this is a one crown from the uh, Bermuda Islands. Look at the toning on this. And this one has a great portrait of the, the long neck queen with her crown. Nice toning on that sucker. Uh, beautiful long neck queen. Again, it's a one crown. 1964. I believe it's 50% silver. They only made it for one year. So it's it's uh, something worth picking up. So I got that. I picked up everything he had of them, so two of those, then he had a tube. Whoa, so I got a tube of 20, and just in, in great shape, all of them are in great shape. So the long neck queen with her crown, great looking coin. 
and oh shit, put all that back. And finally, continuing on with the Barbados Silence, a 1975 uh, proof Barbados, ten dollars. This is sterling. There is the god Neptune of the sea, and just again, just a nice, great looking coin, world coin. Get tired of the same old U.S. stuff, Mexico stuff, so kind of expand out every once in a while. There's that, and that pretty much covers everything, guys. Last couple of weeks and last several months, actually, since I haven't made a video worth of stuff and getting coin show pickups. So there's the Carson City low ball. So I'm already at almost 11 minutes and that is enough time. I will talk to you guys later. Take care.